Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. On the 25th of March this year, the sports section of the Toronto Sun newspaper ran the headline, Patrick Husbands Will Return to Woodbine. That was good news indeed, as it confirmed that the Barbados-born jockey who had flirted with the idea of retirement had experienced a change of heart. Husbands has committed himself to another season at Woodbine, his stomping ground where he has won every major race on the calendar. The 48-year-old has won two Queen's Plates, the Canadian Triple Crown, seven or eight Sovereign Award titles as uh, Canada's outstanding jockey, a uh, seven-time Woodbine champion, champion rider as well, and has uh, ridden over 3,000 winners in his career, uh, close to 4,000, I think, if you add the wins that he has had in the Caribbean as well. Uh, we are pleased to have Patrick Husbands joining us on the Sports Max Zone today. Patrick, wel welcome to our show. Yeah, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure here, <laughs> let, let me start quickly here for you to put in a nutshell, Patrick, your flirting with retirement. We saw an em emotional interview with you in December of last year suggesting that you think that you'd end riding in 2021. Um, but then four months later, you decided that you would give the 22 season a crack. Briefly, what triggered your feeling to retire in December, December and what, what changed it? Last nah, all my followers, okay. You know, I, I was a little bit stressed out for the last years. Thanks, the doctor told me that I should to retire. Um, got my leg to blow up on me. And um, I take it easy for the last six years, and that's right, one or two, one or two. But it started to really get to me that I got to stay in the room all day just to ride two horses, two horses and know that you have to ride 10 horses a day, 10 horses a day. So um, it was a little bit frustrated, frustrated. So um, when I called Mark Cassie, who supported me since I was being at Woodbine in Canada, uh, when I told Mark that he couldn't believe it, and then when he hit me on the the, uh, the, the past race for the interview, he, um, he said to me, Patrick, you better think about it. I don't think you're ready to retire. You think about it. And he was right. You know, I went through the winter break, which he told me to go through the winter break. I didn't think about it. And three weeks before the mid start, I called him and said, Boss, I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> or, or Patrick, if I'm not mistaken, you will have a birthday on Sunday. You'll be 49 years old. Um, will this be in 2022? your last riding year? Because when you said you would come back in 2022, you suggested that you weren't sure that you would ride the entire season. You just know that you would come back to ride in 2022. Have you made a decision on that? No, I didn't get that far. Yet. I, I got to get past one bridge. As they say, that's now, you know. When I told Mark that, he said you told Mike to recover. I didn't recover. So let me go forward from there. I never get back to you and my fans on that. Or, or Patrick, we, we, we have a, a, an image here of the injuries that you have suffered in your career. People think this riding business is, 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 is an easy, easy thing. You have had injuries, Patrick, some of them pretty serious, from your head to your toe. There it is. You, you sent me that on WhatsApp, uh, I think, a year or so ago, where you had this concussion. Um, you, was out, you were out for five weeks. You have had shoulder injuries, broken ribs broken arms, broken fingers, fractured pelvis, um, a fracture in your thigh. You've had multiple fractures in your tibia and fibula, which are your bones, with the bone connecting your knee to your ankle. You've had ankle fractures, toe fractures. Um, pretty, pretty tough life, Patrick. Uh, <laughs> hasn't it been? That is what the sport is all about, you know. Some guys get real lucky and some don't get real lucky, but at the end of the day, I'm still here, lad. Yeah, or, uh, Patrick, uh, briefly now on the sort of success that your career has given you, because, you know, you are uh, from humble beginnings at Hearts Gap in, in Christchurch, Barbados. But if people look at the house that you own in Brampton, Canada at the moment, they'd, they'd be very impressed by the strides that you've made as, as a successful sports star. Lance, I'm uh, being honest, you know, um, coming up back home, daddy always say, you're the youngest, you're supposed to be the smartest. I never, I never understand that, because everybody older me, how he could be the smartest. So I just had to take one, one step at a time, and uh, I realized that now he's become a big man, and he's not here. Mm. But um, back to what you was there saying to me last, um, 
I respect into horse racing with Venice, Charlie, go step by step by step, but then move off to Canada. I went to the to the best rider here, sit next. We had the same valet hard cable and watch him ride. And after two and a half, going to three years, I ended up being a champion, being watching him, observing him, and that's the type of person it is. Yeah, uh, Patrick, you had a sort of partnership with Mark Cassie and Eugene Melnick that triggered a lot of success for you. Eugene Mel Melnick, who is a billionaire Canadian who lived in Barbados, named all of his horses off places in Barbados. He died uh, a couple of months ago. Um, can you talk briefly about the sort of trigger that Melnick and Cassie were to your career? My sympathy goes to uh, Eugene and his family and Laura. Um, we had a lot of fun. Um, Eugene went from trainer to trainer to get me to ride all his horses. The first two, not the first trainer, the, the main two trainers that were standing for him at Woodbine didn't want me to ride the horses and Eugene take the horses away. And, you know, I ride for Mark Cassie and, you know, I ride for Josie Carroll and give both of them the horses. And we had a real, real, real good run. Um, Eugene, I could be wrong, probably was in the game, but for 12 years, 12 to 15 years. And Mark Cassie and myself, we make a lot of money. I won the Triple Crown with C.U. the Hill, the only Philly to ever win a Triple Crown, the Canadian Triple Crown. I won probably in the 15 years that Eugene was probably in Canada or 12 years in Canada. I probably won about nearly 30 big races for him. I make a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money in Eugene. Me and, my, me and myself, Mark. He was a wonderful guy. You know, you don't watch races. You just, uh, Mark, you just email him one day, the race is ready. And when Eugene do watch races, don't let his horse get beat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as, as, just like any owner, just like any owner, any sport, any sport, any sport owner. You know, when Eugene watching the race and the horse get beat, here comes the phone. Patrick, the boss want to know why you do this, why you do that. But other than that, he was okay. We make a lot of money with him. He was a good man. Yeah. Horse racing industry, we lose a good man. Yeah. The horse racing industry in the Caribbean lost a good man in uh, the past week as well, Patrick. Chris Armand, who had worked in Barbados and Trinidad and Tobago and uh, Jamaica. I remember him putting on Patrick Husband's days in Barbados and in Trinidad and Tobago as well when he worked there. Oh, God, let me tell you something. My dad, my dad only saw me ride two races, and uh, he passed away. Chris Salmon has done more, more than my dad, man. Oh, I remember when I was in Jamaica when I was 16. Chris and, and, Chris and Denzel opened their hands to me, and I still respect both of them up to this day. Chris do everything for me, man. From, from, from time to leave Jamaica, and you come to Barbados, he was running Barbados. Chris, I only got a call at Chris. Chris called me up. It was just a bum. And then when Chris went to Trinidad, Chris, Chris has done everything for me. He gave me three championships in Barbados, three Patrick Husband's Days, the Bengali Canadians, the English. Then we went off to Trinidad. He asked me what he wants. We bring in the Canadians, I bring in Chris Welch, and bring the Barbadians and the tackle Trinidad. Chris Chris was a was a legend. Um, the horse racing industry of the Caribbean has lost a legend. Mm -hmm. The guy who put the Caribbean put the map in some casting race and in everything. Yeah. Um, uh, Patrick, a question here. You've, you've written winners in the USA, Canada, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, um, the U.S. Virgin Islands, I think. Everywhere you've ridden, you have won. But you haven't won any races in Jamaica. When, when are you, when are you, when are you going to do that? Last, you had to tread out under the belt. Huh? That's a low blow. <laughs> <laughs> Like, listen to me. I remember when I was 16 in Jamaica, I didn't know I had from Phil. And the council races, it was Gilbert. And then we had to come back the following year, and Gilbert returned. So when I was in Jamaica, just before the pandemic, about three to four, about four years ago, uh, the same day I got there, and the same race day, it was rain again. So three times I went to Jamaica for horse races, it was rain. Yeah. So Gilbert watched the first championship. I come back the next year, and it was a storm again. 
And then when I went four years ago, it was 21 years later, I returned back to Jamaica for racing, and the whole track was flat, flat up again. Yes. I, yeah, I remember that you rode in the Guineas. I think you rode CM Pro Bueno for Anthony Baba Nunes and, and another yeah. horse. Yeah, I rode there twice, and the, and the track was washed out. <laughs> 31 years later. Yes. Or I, I wanna, I wanna, um, I, I can, I can call, I can call, um, I, I wanna, I probably, Gordon, probably right. I now get a little offer to go to Dubai for the, to go to Dubai. Dubai? So, yeah, uh, for the winter. So, uh, I'm looking into it right now, but I wanna tackle, I wanna win a race in Jamaica before we tear. So, <laughs> you all might probably hear from me before the end of the year. Okay, Patrick. Um, I, I'm really happy to hear that because you have a lot of fans right throughout the Caribbean and um, Jamaican racing fans um, would like to see Patrick Cusbans winning a race at uh, Cayman Spark. But um, before I we go... I want to put, put it out there. I'm open for the derby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. or, or, or derby, I, I think, comes up in there. August. Yeah, I'm open for the derby. <laughs> okay, our, our Patrick, we're going to leave it here, but um, I want to wish you... Ahead of time, a happy birthday on Sunday. Um, don't drink too much. We know you, you, you love your drinks, um, which would probably happen. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. This is for Chris Armand. This is for Chris Armand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I know you'll be riding you on see? Sunday, though. You you'll be riding see? on Sunday, Patrick, at Woodbine. I ride on Saturday. I ride three on Saturday, and I ain't too sure how much on, on um, Sunday. <laughs> All right, Patrick, great, great talking to you, and we'll be in touch. But uh, keep us informed with your plans, um, because if you really decide to make 2022 your last race riding year, the Sports Max Zone needs to know. All right, I'm up there, y'all. But remember, put it out there. I want to come for the Derby. Oh, okay, I, I will tell Mr. Nunes and some of the other top trainers. <laughs> Tell the jockeys, watch you out. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patrick. We are top, man. Thank you for it. Enjoy. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Something else, Patrick Husbands, isn't he? Yeah, he finished a short hit second in the 1,000 guineas a long time ago. I remember I'm remembering the trainer. He rode for, I think he rode for Kenneth Mattis, the horse. Mm -hmm. Is escaping me now, but I'll, I'll, tell, I'll give you that information. Well, he officially. gave us the warning. These jockeys at Kimana Spark need to watch out. Darby Day, P Husbands. P Husbands. We'll be back. <laughs> back with more after this. Thank you for watching Sportsmax on YouTube. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and to click the notification bell to stay informed.